Looks way much better than before. Yeah, okay. All right. Next is getting the dash. I took the front piece of the dash off. Um, try to get this interior straight. <laughs> Got a rip here, you know. But um, waiting for my new rockers to come in, so I can cut this off and weld a new one in. I gotta get some new doors. Got these a shot. Well, this one isn't. This one good. But this one is shot, as you can see right there. Brushing right there, brushing the bomb. I mean, you can probably save that door, but uh, let's get this stuff cleaned up. I have to place this door because that's brush this through right there as you can see but this door you can I can save this door right here just the rockers need to be the place but we need to get this door this door won't even open so that's just get a new door for that one but I mean overall got the new badges I don't know why I put them up there I still gotta paint the truck <laughs> but um yeah this I think this cost me a hundred bucks and that was 75 bucks right there, so 175. I got a new front end look. I wanted to do the fortune bumper swap, but um, one time, you know, little things at time at the moment. So, uh, -uh still trying to save up for the parts for the transmission, um, so I can rebuild, rebuild that. That's like it costs a pretty penny. And everybody's not balling like that one else. So yeah, so <laughs> um found the parts. Um I want for it. Oh yeah, we gotta do e-brake cables. Rear e-brake cables coming that's right here for both left and right side, and then I got new brake lines coming in for rear and front. Um because this front brake line right there. Um, that busted and so truck don't have brakes right now so the only thing that's holding the transmission I mean holding the truck right now from moving forward since we're on the slope is the transmission so um, yeah once we get that fixed we can start taking the transmission out I got these blocks on the wheel just in case but um it's not going nowhere but other than that man she she coming along um I do want to place this bed because this bed is shot and I gotta figure out uh leaf springs because this one I don't know you see how that one going off not probably like that uh so I just want to go ahead and get a whole new lift kit and um just call it a day um I mean I guess when I have my move hopefully well, I moved next to have a lot of space so I can take the cab off and sandblast the 
the frame because I, I want to make this a nice truck. Uh, got for steel and uh, yeah, so that's the whole deal at the moment right now. But um, next up is probably get some wheels on her. Probably push that door right there. Um, I want to do the fourth gen bumper swap and what else? You know, just keep saving up for the transmission. Hopefully, I have the money by the end of the month before it start getting too cold and um go from there I should be running driving oh yeah the dash um, I gotta get the heat working the AC working inside oh that I mean yeah so see y'all next time um thanks for watching the video um try to keep an update on the truck and um go from there I'm gonna start um new brake lines um that I got from inline tubing and um doing the rear this just the rears right now I uh, got the fronts coming in, hopefully coming in this week. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this. You got this brake line going to the driver's side, and this one going straight to the passenger side. Um, they are three eighths, so I'm gonna go ahead and start taking them apart. So, go to the passenger side first, real quick. Do, do, do. I don't know y'all can even see this. It's dark. The camera. Well, mind you, I do have the truck chopped up right now. Um, the reason why I, um, I got the truck chopped up because um, once you undo the brake line, it's going to leak fluid, of course, and then you don't have the brake pressure. And since it is all that matters, lock train does keep the truck still, but still, I still have the truck stock, um, chopped up. And the front brake lines, you know, burst, so it there's literally no fluid in the line whatsoever because everything's out, so. Uh. Almost there, it's almost out. Alright, so that side up. I don't know if you can see, but let's see, got a flashlight right there, which is going to this block. So, alright, let's go ahead and get the other side. <laughs> Got the passenger side uh, brake line out. That's what it looked like. Next, uh, new brake line. So it's stainless steel and uh, way much better because uh, this one is almost right out. The front ones are completely right through. So. Go ahead, toss that out the way and then put this one on. So, passenger side is all in. Hold on, let me grab the flashlight so you guys can see. So, as you can tell, as you can see, passenger side is all in. Now, it's time to do the driver's side. I got this side all nice and tight. So 
back end is all done. Um, I need be. I got new Evic cables, so be doing that next. Ooh, so um, probably not today. Probably this weekend when I get some free time. Um, hopefully the front brake cables come in and I can do those. But um, other than that, um, yeah. Um, uh, what's up, guys? Just got off work and um, got another package in today. So these the um, brake lines for the front. Um, so I guess we'll start it in the morning. Um, I was hoping the new fenders for the Genesis came in today, but uh, not yet. But um, look at this fish. How this fish died, bro. <laughs> He did just float around. <laughs> but yeah, um, so uh, see you guys in the morning. Go ahead and install that. Hopefully it don't take us all morning to do it. Um, hopefully it go quick like the real did and um, yeah, so Ooh. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. I gotta go somewhere with some light. Go somewhere with some light. Boom. So. All the brake line for the front end is in here. Um, I think they got these labels. I'm not even for sure. Front brake line still. Right front. Oh, yeah. So. They got them labeled to make it a little easier. So let's try to fight. I don't know. Can't really. There you go, one. Oh. What's that one say? Don't really say. This says ABS line. That one says ABS line. That one says ABS line. So, I mean. Well, I guess we'll just figure it out when we get down there tomorrow. So, I'm really stoked about this. But, dang, man. My boy dead, bruh. My boy dead, bruh. <laughs> Gotta scoop him out now. It's gonna be a sucky part. What's up, guys? Good morning. Um, so, I'm out here bright and early, 7 a.m. But, I put these brake lines in. This is all for the front. Um... I just gotta figure out what's going on with because this is master center line this drum. So master ABS master center line. I just gotta figure out what's going where. Uh, I think this is the only one that really tells you front right front no right front brake line. So. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. But um yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get hot to it and hopefully it don't take me too long trying to figure all this out. Shouldn't be, but let's get to it. So I don't think I show y'all what it looked like underneath the truck. Um here's the let me get a light for you. Here's a brake line that busted. Um busted like right right here. Uh Mesquita is all rusted out. So all the brake lines in the front is I'm going to place on both sides and hopefully we don't have that problem. Luckily like the truck wasn't running driving and I'm like I'm down on the street and this bus because e brake cable is cut as you can know and this bus I wouldn't have no stopping power to even stop a six thousand pound truck. So uh yeah, luckily that happened now and not later. Um But yeah, here's the bottom of the truck. As you guys can see. So, I mean, frame, frame is, it's not rusted. It's still clean. Um, one day, whenever I get the land of space um, to do it, I want to take the cab off and, like, I'll sandblast the frame and get it painted. And, yeah, I'm trying to, like, keep this truck as clean as possible. Um, like you see, gaskets need to be placed, oil all over the place. 
Everything down here soak. That bush was probably done for. And um, yeah, you see the tea case is all oily, smells up. Like I just want to take the time and clean everything up and make everything look nice. But um, uh, and that's the rear of the truck. So um, as far as the cab go, cab mounts. Um, they good. Just need to be cleaned up. Some of them, I think this one done for. The other side is pretty much good. The rockers is toast. <laughs> but um, yeah, I got a lot of cleaning up. I don't know if I want to swap caps or not. But I'll get down that road when I actually get the time and space to be able to do it. So uh, let me go ahead and start with the brake lines and um, get to it, guys. So we got two left. Um, I know how to get to this one, but I gotta take the pit me off to get to this one. But um, as far as this one goes, so I'm thinking they put the wrong fitting on it because this fitting is too big for the one that goes. So that's a half inch, and the one I need is three eight. So uh, I'm gonna go to Lowe's and Mar and see if I can find a new fitting for it, like or like an adapter. But it goes in right here. All up to the ABS section, so we'll do that tomorrow. But right now, I'm just cleaning up and um, but for go to work. Um, but um, try to do that tomorrow. Um, I got a new dash because this one's broken, there's no common problem, and then a new brazo. So it's coming along slowly. Uh, probably try to work on the e brake next. So, um, but. Anyway, thanks for guys watching my video. Like, leave, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.